Hello, folks. I'm back to uh, cover another segment of an inexpensive watch tool that can be had for under $15. Uh, and uh, complements the review I just did of the uh, bezel remover uh, tool that I ordered from China and uh, overall works very well uh, and is a bargain for the price compared to the uh, $400 Hortec at uh, 20, uh, $25, a little over $25 shipped. Uh, so this one I'm going to cover is a case uh, uh, press tool and commonly you'd use this to press the uh, uh, parts onto the case that are press fit, obviously, and they come with uh, comes with this bag of plastic dies. This one I got at uh, Harbor Freight, and um, uh, it's currently $13.99. Uh, and if you can find a coupon, like a 10 or 20, 15 or 20 percent off coupon, obviously you can usually you can find that. Although now with Harbor Freight's new uh, club membership, usually those are kind of reserved more for club. Uh, 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 members, uh, but they do uh, coupons pop up for the general public uh, here and here and there. Uh, so just keep an eye open. Uh, uh, obviously, you're saving about two or th two fifty or something like that uh, if you want to get it at the rock bottom price. But uh, right now, it's currently online for thirteen ninety nine. You can walk into most any Har Harbor Freight store and pick it up. Uh, Amazon, ironically, has the same tool. It's a dollar more. So uh, if you have a Harbor Freight near you, I would just go ahead and pop in there and pick this up. They do sell, ironically, some uh, small pieces of uh, inexpensive watch tools. So uh, they're all pretty much the same. You may see different variations or colors of this, but they're all made in China presses with, uh, some will have aluminum dies. This one has uh, nylon dies, which I like a little bit better. Uh, not as strong as the nylon, uh, aluminum uh, dies uh, that you get in the bag here, uh, but they're less likely to mar up the case, the finish. So, uh, and here's a, a lock uh, you have, you can store with the handle closed or uh, you have to remember to undo that. and. Uh, they come a little pre-lubed there, so the action's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, easy to work. So I'm going to go start to finish. I'm going to show you the process of removing a bezel and a crystal uh, for like, let's say you're doing a crystal change. It doesn't have to be on a Rolex. It could be on any uh, uh, similar type uh, build uh, case, uh, anything that's pressed on. Uh, so here's the case. We're going to we're going to start with removing it, uh, placing it in the remover, and we'll make sure it's all lined up. Um, It's pretty much lined up, so we're going to start working it slowly, uh, spreading it from the, I don't know if you can see it, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. I'm kind of behind the camera, but you can see it's actually, you can feel it's working it, and uh, working it apart, and uh, separating it. And I like to rotate a little bit, just in case there's some even unevenness uh, in the way it's sitting. Uh, and uh, you, can, you can see it's starting up separate it quite easily so like i said for 25 dollars overall with its uh minor uh issues out of the box that can be easily dealt uh, rectified uh it, it's a pretty 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 much a bargain uh they range anywhere on uh aliexpress i picked this up on aliexpress for uh 25 uh, 47 shipped with tax to the midwest uh usa and uh but, you know, you, you'll see these a little bit more on eBay, probably because of the seller fees are a little bit higher than AliExpress. But they all come from China, just like this tool right here. So let me finish, keep I'll keep working in a, the retaining. It's on, on a date just, this serves as a crystal retaining ring and a decorative uh, bezel. And uh, it can be either smooth or fluted on the date just. But uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be a Rolex. It can be a uh, Tissot, anything that's got a pressed on, uh, ring like this and you need to separate it to get to the um, to get the crystal off okay so there you go so it's off here's the crystal here's the retaining ring slash uh, decorative piece you can call it like I said this is smooth on, on a lot of date just you'll see them fluted okay so let's put this back together Have to be specific this is just for a test uh, to show you the process of using both tools together let me get this out of the way we're done using this tool so I want to get this started once you change out your your um, 
your, let's say you're changing a crystal or uh, you're polishing, I don't know, whatever reason you had to remove it for service. Let me see if I can get it on. I want to get it on as even as possible without one side. There we go. Raise too much. So we're going to get it started just like this. I don't know if you, yeah. Okay, so you're going to pick out your correct nylon dies, uh, upper and lower from the bag. I'm going to press it from the top. You're going to take the case and put it in. Uh, you're going to push the, let me see, I'm looking over the camera. You're going to clear, make sure the top part clears over the crystal so you don't crack the crystal or you're not pressing the crystal directly. You're just pressing the uh, uh, bezel retaining ring and you're just going to give it a gentle squeeze. And I don't know if you could see it, but it went down. Let me check it and just see. It doesn't take too much effort because it slides on pretty. Let me check it by eye here. Yeah, that's perfect. A little bit of a gap. Let's see if we can work that down. I kind of like rotating it just to make sure there's no uneven, if there's uneven pressures, you're kind of getting it. Like I said, the benefit of nylon dies is that uh, it won't mar up the case. The aluminum is, you know, stronger, the dies that aluminum, but I would rather prefer to work with the nylon dies. So there you go. So that's how you do it. Um, in this case, uh, you're better off, uh, obviously, it, you know, that's not lined up. You're going to line it up more precisely with the date window over the dial. So if this had the, if this had the, um, if this had the the movement and the dial uh, installed, you'd be able to eyeball it more uh, perfectly. But that's the beauty of having these tools; you can redo it if you if you're if you make a mistake or if it's wrong. But um, like I said, for thirteen ninety nine plus tax um, is what these are at Harbor Freight. I would just go ahead and pop in an Harbor Freight if it's uh, near you. If not, uh, Amazon's got the same one for fourteen ninety nine, so it's fifteen plus. Uh, you know, if you're an Amazon Prime, you probably get cheap. Free shipping. Uh, so it's going to be a trip to the store. But um, I like this one. It's served me well so far. If I uh, if I were getting a scenario, maybe I'll need to buy one with more dies or buy more separate dies. I'm sure I can locate them uh, because this is such a common Chinese-made uh, press. Um, but there you go. That's all you need to uh, both remove uh, the bezel uh, to change a crystal or whatever you're doing and then to... Uh, press it back on and you're good to go. Okay. Thanks. And please subscribe and stay tuned. Like I said, uh, in my earlier video, I'm going to make more videos, uh, identifying, uh, inexpensive, uh, ho hobbyist, <clears throat> home hobbyist watchmaker tools that everybody can afford to get into the hobby. Okay. Thanks.